The average American is blitzed with a multitude of messages by the media on a daily basis. Whether it be through the mediums of TV, music, movies, internet, or others, the media constantly delivers messages that attempt to persuade our thoughts and actions. These persuaders attempt to tell us who we are and what we should believe. How much control do the individuals and companies within the media really have? Do they in fact have the power to alter the perception of what a human being considers to be beautiful? We hope to find the answers to these questions, not only in the context of our culture, but various other cultures that span the globe. Our first stop on the voyage, Europe, is right across the pond from our beloved America. We tend to think that their perception of what is beautiful is similar to ours, considering we share Western ideals and are both heavily saturated with media on a daily basis. We'll see just how similar our cultures truly are. Do you think the media alters your perception of beauty? Uh, sometimes, yeah. I think it does, yes. Always, always. Which types of media are most influential? Internet and television. UK culture, TV, I suppose. Most Belgians look at the advertisements. It's the contest and the films, the, um, the papers of the films. How does the media influence the idea of beauty within your culture? It publishes fashions and things come in and out of fashion. It creates new styles and I think you're influenced about by what this happens to be content. The media tells you just what they want to tell you, that's it. Media, yeah, the, there are such things as models and, and, and the, the movies. Films like Johnny Depp, Johnny Lee, Brad Pitt. They show us how to be, but not everyone is like them. Does the media cause you to change your personal appearance? Things change in me, and I'm sure the media has had right. a large part to play in that. <laughs> I don't know. What is it? What is it? Um, it's different. We wanna uh, change like American people, like surfers, skateboarding people. Okay, so media look to play a pretty big role in the perceptions of Europeans, just like it does in America. Now we're on our way to Africa. Our first stop is Ghana, a more impoverished nation that may not have quite as much media saturation as Europe. Will that affect perceptions? In places where they probably do not have access to the media, uh, some of the places we visit on semester at sea, Ghana, and others, maybe they're not finding their beauty, uh, models of beauty there because the women and the men in the village I went to in Torgamay look totally uh, different than what you would see in Hollywood or, or maybe what billboards you would see in Ghana, and definitely the ones you would see in South Africa or in Europe. So that begs another question, is it, is it, beauty is different everywhere. Because we don't have a lot of televisions, in the whole village there's probably maybe half a dozen televisions. And so we don't have that Western concept of, of the body beautiful or the gorgeous hair or anything like that. So in fact, people here consider a woman more attractive if she's heavier because that means she's going to be healthy. Also look at white hips in women <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as being um, a very positive thing because of childbearing. What is the influence of media on your culture? Televisions are a bad thing for the kids because now they're seeing things that they don't have and they start to ask why. We also don't have newspapers to, or magazines to influence them either. So they've really been in an isolated situation in terms of media, which is really isn't that bad. Mm -hmm. Despite the geographic proximity to Ghana, South Africa, and particularly Cape Town, has a plethora of media that influences their society's perception of beauty. females on the other side of the sea did not act much different to the way that Cape Townian women, or most Cape Townian women, and especially my schoolmates, would go about expressing themselves. What is the influence of media on your culture? 
with the view that beautiful women are slender, they have clear skin, they don't have dark brown eyes, they should have some highlights in their hair, um, they should be able to rock a bikini at their will, and often do, and they usually uh, if you've got it flaunted, that was uh, that was my perception of beauty, really strongly influenced by the media. Everyone knows what's beautiful and what's not, and uh, you have to ask your question: Where are they getting these models? Because the people in San Francisco probably aren't, aren't talking to the people in Miami. So how do we know? And I think the only answer to that is the is the media. The Leaving Africa, we have finally found a place where media doesn't have a profound effect on the definition of what is beautiful. But more on that later. Now it's on to South America, another place well known for its western ideals of beauty and ever-present media exposure throughout the continent. Let's see how media plays a role in the perceptions of people over there. Take me away from the Does the media define your perceptions of beauty? The media's influence plays a role once the person goes out to seek something better, to seek to become more uh, beautiful. How has the media influenced your culture's perception of beauty? The most influential media you can see is not just for Brazil, it's for the world and they uh, include models, TV and magazines. Well, how I view beauty personally is um, influenced by Brazilian novellas. I watch beautiful Brazilian women wearing tight feminine clothes and they always had their makeup done so perfectly. Now I recognize that watching novellas growing up has affected me so much that I'll never leave the house poorly dressed. Well, um, today beauty is a product of the media. You can see that Brazil today is the second largest country with plastic surgery. They are only behind the United States. And in more and more, the natural beauty of people, of women, is being left behind and they are seeking more and more synthetic beauty, that purchase type of beauty. The tendency is for this to happen, because the same women who see their physical beauty fleeting are chasing after to have this artificial beauty. Probably because it, uh, it's easier for them, for example, they do not need to exercise or go to the gym as much. This is how I see that the media is representing beauty today they're inducing artificial beauty. But let's not forget that women still have fabulous natural beauty. What effects have media had on the Brazilian culture? Things like hair treatments and collagen and other sorts of plastic surgery all come from the media. The media tells us that we should look a certain way and we follow it. Everybody has a right to feel good about themselves. But uh, what ends up happening is that uh, people becoming slaves to beauty. Celebrities are the ones that really play the key on that. They're the models to let us know. Uh, Jennifer Anderson can come out with a new hairdo, and next thing you know, you'll be walking through the mall and you say, fire. There's a whole culture of beauty in Hollywood and other places. And they present, they, they build these models and tell us what's the standard for beauties. And the celebrities are the, are the agents or the models that in the movies, and the openings, and the People magazine, that's where we're getting all that. And the only way people know how they should look, or how uh, any culture say they should look to be beautiful or more attractive, is, is through the media. The media gives us those role models there. There's no way out of it. The journey of a lifetime began with a flight to Halifax. But it wasn't until the experience of semester at sea that our world was truly transformed. For us to leave America and see all these exciting new cultures was an incredible experience. Everywhere we went, we saw the beauty of the people in that country. However, we couldn't help but to notice that their media was preaching the same ideals of Western beauty that ours does back in the States. This just didn't seem right. Why do we not appreciate the diverse features of beauty that span cultures across the globe? We believe that there is much to be learned from a village like Dokpor, Ghana, where we found that people were not looking to the media to define beauty for them. These people have been able to retain their culture's identity of beauty, and we will leave this journey more conscientious of how the media influences our perceptions. <laughs>